Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn our next poem, Childhood, which is written by Marcus Natin, and it is from the book Hornbill of class 11. But before going to the poem, let me discuss some important points. First of all, this poem will be talking about a journey from innocence to experience and the importance of logical mind, where the poet is attaining maturity and he is sad because he has lost his childhood, he has lost his innocence, right? So, let us go into the poem. First stanza. When did my childhood go? Was it the day I ceased to be eleven? Now, the poet is asking, when did I lost my childhood? Probably when I crossed the age of eleven, eleven years old, probably that time I have lost my childhood because we all know that childhood exists for six to twelve years old, right? After that, we enter into the teenage. So, the poet is asking probably when I crossed the age of 11, at that time I have lost my childhood. Then, was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be? Or probably when I came to know that hell and heaven, these are the places which do not have any kind of existence in geography, in real world, probably at that time I have lost my childhood right could not be found in geography and therefore could not be so i came to know that these are the places which don't have any kind of existence in the real world was that the day so probably that was the day he is asking to himself right this is the first anja so in this first anja we are getting the theme of rationalism rationalism okay now, let us go into the second stanza. When did my childhood go? The same question. Was it the time I realized that adults were not all they seemed to be? They talked of love and preached of love, but they did not act so lovingly. Was that the day? Very easy. Now, the poet is asking, probably I have lost my childhood when I came to know or realized that the adults, the elders, are only talking about love. The elders are only talking about love and they are giving us lessons of love, right? They are preaching us, giving us advice, suggestions, but they themselves are not acting or they themselves are not having that kind of relationship which we can call a loving relationship. They are giving us the lessons, they are giving us the advice, but they themselves are not following. So, they are hypocrites, they are having double face, they are saying something and they are doing something else. So, this is the difference between elder and the younger, the experience and the innocence. Now, the poet is attaining the experience, that is why he is saying that these are all hypocrisy by the elders, that they are saying something and they are doing something else. Okay? So, this is the second stanza. First stanza, rationalism. Second stanza, hypocrisy. Let us go to the third. When did my childhood go? Same question. Was it when I found my mind was really mine to use whichever way I choose, producing thoughts that were not those of other people, but my own and mind alone? Was that the day? Now, here we can talk about the theme of individualism. Okay. What he is saying here? He is saying here, the poet is saying here that probably I have lost my childhood when I came to know or I realized that my mind, that my mind can take its own decisions and it is not going to be manipulated by others. What he is saying? to use whichever way I choose, I will take the final decision, I will take the final call, producing thoughts that were not those of other people and these are the thoughts that is coming to my mind after crossing the age of 11, these are the thoughts which is coming to my mind right now, these thoughts are completely mine own, these are not the manipulated thoughts by others, I can take my own decisions. So, here we are getting the theme of 
individualism in this third para sorry third stanza the fourth stanza where did my childhood go it went to some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant's face that's all i know now here the poet is really sad he is asking again that when did i lost my childhood probably it went to some forgotten place probably it has gone to some places which address i have completely forgot i have completely forgotten the address of that particular place that's hidden in an infant's face but where we can find it again in an infant's face infant means we all know a newborn baby so in that infant's face again innocence so in that innocent face we can get back the childhood we can get back the early life that's all i know so this poem is talking about from innocence to experience and experience is very important to judge the real world because the world is talking about hypocrisy the elders are giving us advice but they themselves are not following the individualism which is very important to take the decisions which i can choose i can choose my own way and my thoughts are not going to be manipulated by others this is completely my own but my own my mind alone right and the last stanza the poet is saying that we can get back these places again in an infant's face now here you can see that the time whichever way thoughts that my mind these are all examples of alteration because tt the time my mind mm whichever way thoughts that alteration again one thing is there hell and heaven these are the opposite words and it is we can call it antithesis right antithesis then we are getting one more thing that is the repetition of the same group of words or phrases this line when did my childhood go was that the day again when did my childhood go was that the day when did my childhood go was that the day so we can call it refrain a repetition of a group of phrase right so if we summarize the poem first one it is talking about rationalism second hypocrisy of the elders third individual decisions fourth a kind of sadness and we can get it again in an infant's face right thank you